At the root of all of our suffering is this need inside of us to control, to direct anything, everything, people, places, and things in our lives. In this practice, we learn to let go. We learn to allow. We learn to simply accept things, people, places, as they are, as they come to us. We learn to be with the isness of the moment. This is how it is now. In Budokan, in this lineage, we are cultivating the warrior that lies within each of us and the yogi that lies within each of us. The warrior who is fighting for that which we can change. The yogi who is accepting and embracing that which we cannot. We open our eyes, prepare to bow in for our asana practice. We place the right hand, followed by the left hand, onto the floor. We bow forward, honoring the warrior that lies within each of us, that warrior which is prepared to fight for that which we know and recognize that we can change. We draw the hands in prayer and we recognize and honor and bow to the yogi that lies within each of us, ready to make peace and to accept that which we cannot change. We begin our asana practice by transitioning forward to a four-point base. We step the feet back one at a time, finding high push-up or plank pose. From high push-up, we are going to form what I like to call the cobra hood. This is a shoulder girdle press. Shoulders are protracted anterior serratus activated, drawing the scapula forward, shoulders are, of course, are back and down, chin draws to chest, we draw the spine into a flexion, both cervical and thoracic, and begin moving back vertebra by vertebra till we find downward facing dog. From down dog, we can begin pedaling the feet to lengthen out the back line. As you allow the body to lengthen side to side, draw your attention back to the breath. Ujjayi breathing. Steady inhale, steady exhale. Let's begin to allow the hips to work a little closer to the floor. Left hip drawing down and back. Right hip drawing down and back. Followed by the left hip really working almost to a seated position and drawing back up to down dog, shifting to the right side and almost drawing down to seated position and drawing back up to a steady downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, we reach back with the left hand across the body, clasping the outside of the right ankle. We get a subtle spinal twist, release, draw the left hand to the floor. Right hand draws back, clasps the outside of the left ankle. Spinal twist, steady breath, and release. From down facing dog, we prepare for our first transition, rolling wave. We elevate the heels, draw the pubic bone to the navel. We begin rolling vertebra by vertebra through the spine. Cobra hood forms, pelvis draws towards the floor. We roll up the spine, vertebra by vertebra, finding a floating upward facing dog. Heels press back, crown of the head rises, chin draws to chest, press the ground away, rise up into cobra hood, roll back vertebra by vertebra through the spine, heels root back to the floor. And again with breath, we rise. We begin rolling vertebra by vertebra forward. Pelvis roots, cobra hood forms, shoulders rolling down and back, broadening across the chest, crown of the head lifting, 
chin draws to chest, press up cobra hood forms. We transition vertebra by vertebra back through the spine, heels root, downward facing dog. And one last time, heels draw up, pubic bone to navel, rolling forward through the spine, pelvis roots. Head is the last thing to draw up, shoulders draw down and back broadening across the collarbones, crown of the head rises, chin to chest, press up into the cobra hood, roll back through the spine, heels root, downward facing dog. We bend the knees and draw them to the floor, sits bones rest back on the heels, knees softly opening up, ribs to thighs, child's pose, stay with that ujjayi breath and rest. From child's pose, we draw back to all fours, shifting back into a strong shoulder girdle position, stepping the feet back one at a time to high push up or plank pose. Chin draws to the chest, and we roll back through the spine to downward facing dog. Again, finding that steady breath, we bend the knees, we look forward and float to prayer squat. We draw the hands together in prayer lengthening from the crown of the head to the tailbone. Bring your attention or awareness to your back line, your glute medius, right side, left side, contracting, drawing the knees open and away from the midline to assist the elbows on the inner thighs. Followed by a gentle swaying back and forth, making circles with the knees exploring the tension that lies in the hips, taking a twist to the side, right side followed by a twist to the left. Nothing right or wrong, nothing you can do here that's good or bad, just an exploration, a curiosity of where there might be tension. Fingers draw to the floor, hips rise, legs straighten, begin to heel to toe your feet together. Bend the knees deeply, connect the ribs to the thighs, reach around and hug the legs. Steady breath, continue to keep the chest and the thighs connected as you work to lengthen the legs. Release the grip around the thighs, hands to the floor. Begin to flex through the spine, followed by a full extension to flat back. Release, fold forward, and again repeat. Flexion to extension, followed by a forward fold. The knees remain bent, and again, flexion to extension, followed by a forward fold. Press into the earth with the feet. Keep the legs bent. Use the quads as we roll up the spine vertebra by vertebra. Arms sweeping up and overhead. Shoulders rolling down and back. We begin to transition back for a standing back bend. Arms open. Thoracic stretch of the spine. Firm thighs. Strong glutes to support the low back. Swan dive forward forward fold. Clasp the ankles with the hands, draw the chest towards the thighs and draw the crown of the head towards the floor. Release the grip, bend the knees, root the hands to the floor, gaze forward, bend the elbows towards chaturanga, feet elevate, float back, chaturanga to prone. Knees lift, draw forward, Anterior tilt of the pelvis, cobra roll to upward facing dog, shoulders roll down and back, broaden across the collarbone, chin to chest, rolling wave back, downward facing dog. Stay steady with the breath as you draw the feet together, extending the right leg to the sky, neutral pelvis, demi point on the foot. Fold the right heel to the sits bone. Left heel elevates high, 
Right knee rolls through the midline, stepping to low lunge. From low lunge, the right hand draws back in a fist. Left hand presents the bow. Right hand releases the arrow from archer to warrior two. Warrior two, transition back, double block. From double block, we reach forward, transition to drop stance. Right toes draw to the sky. Right hand sweeps back. Left hand draws us up to warrior's bridge. From warrior's bridge, we draw down. Left hand sweeps us forward and up to our stance. Right hand becomes the sword, draws us to flying warrior. We hold steady, breathing, left hip opening. Transition, falling warrior. Sweeping forward to chaturanga, to prone position. Knees draw forward, anterior tilt of the pelvis, cobra roll through the spine. Shoulders roll down and back, upward facing dog. Chin draws to chest. We press the ground away, rolling back to downward facing dog. From down dog, the feet draw together. Left leg extends to the sky, neutral pelvis, demi point. Fold the left heel to the sits bone, elevation of the right heel. Keep the left leg hugging to the midline as we roll forward, stepping through cobra hood to low lunge. Transition to revolved archer. Revolved archer transitions to warrior two. Warrior two transitions to double block and double block to low drop stance. Left toes turn upward. Left hand sweeps back, basing the ground. Right hand sweeps us into warrior's bridge. From warrior's bridge, we lower down, sweeping up to flying warrior. From Flying Warrior, we extend through the hand and the back foot. Transitioning the right leg through, we rotate, facing the back of the room. Falling forward into our Chaturanga, Falling Warrior, all the way through to prone. From prone, we draw the knees forward into your tilt of the pelvis. Cobra roll through the spine, shoulders rolling down and back, broadening across the collarbone, up dog. Transition through Rolling Wave down dog. From downward facing dog we bend the knees. We direct our drishti, our vision forward and anchor to the floor. We float through the hands, extending the legs long, lowering to our sits bones, extending the legs, finding boat pose. From boat we transition to supine. Hands reach over our head, root the tops of the hands to the floor as we hug the feet together and elevate over transitioning to plow pose. From plow pose, we fold the right foot behind the left knee. We roll forward to warrior's base. Left foot bases the earth, right knee bases the earth. We rise, left hand reaches down, right hand reaches up. Right leg reaches long, right hip stacks over left. Dristi, anchor to the floor. And as we return back to the floor, right knee bases, arms spread wide for balance. We reach forward, rolling back, legs extend long, supine position, transition to plow. From plow, the left foot folds behind the right knee. We roll forward to warrior's base. From warrior's base, we open up to half moon. Continuously working for balance in this posture. Working to stack the left hip over the right to find length throughout the dristi. Constant and steady onto the floor as we lower down to warrior's base. Extending the legs long for supine position. Feet elevate up, up and over for plow. From plow, we fold the right foot behind the left knee. We roll forward to warrior's base. We clasp the ankle. We extend the right leg long and the spine long, finding standing split. Dristi, anchor to the floor. We 
you slowly draw the right knee back to warrior's base. Feet extend long, transitioning to supine. Feet elevate up and over the head for plow pose. From plow, left foot folds behind the right knee. We roll forward to warrior's base. We clasp the right ankle, extend the left leg long and the spine long. The dristi, or the gaze, anchor to the floor. We breathe. We hold steady. We transition back to the left knee. Reach the hands forward. Finding supine. And from supine, we transition to plow. From plow, we fold the right foot behind the left. We roll forward to warrior's base. Hands root the floor. Right leg extends long. We press up. Split leg handstand. Return to warrior's base. Legs reach long. Supine to plow. Left foot folds behind the right ankle, rolling forward, warrior's base, hands root, left leg extends long, press, standing split, transitioning back, supine, to plow. From plow, we open the knees. We roll forward to prayer squat or malasana. Hands root to the floor. We transition forward into crow pose. Feet hug together in a demi point. The dristi or the gaze is forward, creating stability as we balance on the arms. Slowly lower the feet to the floor, finding yourself back in prayer squat. Sits bones to the floor, keep the knees bent, roll flat to your back, take a moment, find your breath. Preparing for wheel pose, we draw the hands above the shoulders, draw the heels closer to the sits bones and elevate the hips. From here, we begin to lift up onto the crown of the head and using the quads we press back into a deep back bend before we ever elevate. From here we can lengthen the arms, finding them as straight as possible so the back bend is actually found before we ever rise up to our full wheel. We lower down, crown of the head, shoulders, hips. Counter the pose by drawing the knees forward, hugging, and breathing. Head relaxes back, steady ujjayi breath. Release the knees and reach to the outer edges of the feet. Draw the thighs or quads down towards the ribs for happy baby. Very little to do other than relax and allow for gravity and some gentle encouragement to lengthen the tissue. From Happy Baby, we release the hands and cross the legs, left foot in front of the right. At the same time, we cross the hands, exchanging. Left hand has hold of the right foot and the right hand has hold of the left foot the left leg extends long and folds across the body our gaze is to the right steady ujjayi breath left shoulder roots or works towards the floor release both of the feet Roll to your flat back position. Cross the right foot in front of the left and take hold of the right foot with the left hand. 
Take hold of the left foot with the right hand. Straighten the right leg. Roll it across the body onto the left side. Stay steady with your breath. Continue to work the top leg long and the right shoulder towards the floor. Releasing both feet, transition to supine. Lengthen out both legs, transitioning to Shavasana, corpse pose. The focus of our practice has been the witnessing of action and non-action, the warrior and the yogi. Our work in this body, our work as a human being, is to balance these two natural states that we occupy. If we overcultivate the warrior within us, we become violent, we become aggressive, we become constant in our attempt to control in our attempt to change anything and everything, anyone and everyone around us. There's no acceptance. There's only struggle. When we only cultivate the yogi within us, we risk becoming compliant, obedient, submissive, unassertive. And in this case, we never develop our voice. Begin to return to the body by taking a deep breath. Gently draw the left knee towards the chest and roll to the right side for fetal pose. position, we press the ground away and transition back to Seiza, our seated meditation. Without a voice, who are we? What do we stand for? How can we show up? How can we contribute to other people's lives? So learning to be the warrior, learning to be the yogi, learning to be the human being that sees the difference between the time that warriorship is necessary and peacemaking is necessary. Without these qualities present in our humanity, what can we truly contribute? What can we offer? So our work through our yoga practice, through our martial arts practice, through our Budokan practice, is to cultivate within us these natural gifts that we have, to learn to show up, to stand up, and to contribute. This is our work. This is our purpose.